If you've been following along with our HoneyBook for Web Designers series, then you'll have learned by now just how simple it can be to totally streamline your client handling process when you invest in the right tool. Now, time is definitely money when your income is tied directly to your hours. So the more time you save by improving your processes, the more projects you'll be able to take on and the more revenue you will bring home as a website designer. So we've already looked at the best HoneyBook features for handling client inquiries and getting them properly onboarded for the project. But now it's time to look at some of the super helpful behind the scenes things that your client doesn't actually see. These are the things that HoneyBook created just for you. But in order for any of these automation and organizational tools to be useful for you, you really need to have a rock solid plan for how you're gonna work with your clients from start to finish. So if you're currently winging it with each and every new client, just hoping nobody calls you out on the fact that you're basically making it up as you go along, then I want you to hit pause on this video and grab a copy of my free web design client process template. You can find the link to that here and I'll also put that for you in the description below. Tool number one, the HoneyBook Chrome extension. So this feature is actually still in beta at the moment, which means it's brand new and wasn't even available back when I was serving clients one-to-one. -one. But I'm all for anything that streamlines and automates a process you usually have to do manually and the Chrome extension promises to do just that. So if you add the extension to your browser, now anytime you open up your Gmail, you will see a little HoneyBook logo. If you click it, it opens up this little panel and basically connects your Gmail to your HoneyBook. There's two reasons why this is great. Say you're already working with a client and they shoot you an email to ask you a question about an invoice and a brochure that you sent over. Rather than having to open up a new browser and log into HoneyBook, search for their project, and then search for the file, you have access to all the files right here in the extension. So you can click the file you want and it will take you directly to it. The other reason I'm excited about this is say that a new inquiry comes in, but they haven't used your contact form. Maybe they got your email from a referral or they clicked the email button on your Instagram profile. Rather than having to open up HoneyBook and manually enter all the information to start your inquiry workflow, you can use the HoneyBook extension to create their project with one click and it will pull as much information as it can from that person's Gmail profile to generate their new HoneyBook project. The Chrome extension is also helpful if you have multiple projects on the go that involve the same clients or collaborators. Ideally, they would keep all communication related to a project inside HoneyBook, but if they happen to email you directly instead, you now have a quick way to access any of the projects that their email is connected to. To get the browser extension for Gmail, you just go to Tools and then Chrome extension. Okay, on to tool number two, the time tracking tool. If you've ever made it to the end of a project and thought to yourself, that wasn't worth the money or, oh my gosh, I should have charged double, then time tracking will be your new best friend. I can't think of a more useful tool when deciding how to price your services as a designer. When you're first getting started out, you're obviously going to take longer to do certain things, but having an idea of how much time actually goes into each project is non-negotiable if you want to build a profitable business. Sure, you may be bringing home more than you did at your 9 to 5, but if you're having to work 80 hours a week to make that happen, you could actually be earning much less per hour when you break it down. My guess is you started your design business to find more financial freedom and more scheduling freedom. And if that's the case, then it's definitely worth tracking how much time you're actually spending on projects to see if what you're charging truly aligns. Time tracking also keeps you accountable and on task. If you can be brutally honest with yourself when logging your time, you may begin to spot patterns that need changing, like procrastinating planning, by spending way too much time looking for inspiration before you begin designing. Or maybe taking a quick break to respond to a DM and then getting distracted and spending 30 minutes scrolling on the gram. Understanding where you're spending your time in your business will help you understand which skills you can be improving on to help speed up certain tasks and which tasks could be outsourced or done away with altogether because they aren't moving the needle in your business. So if you aren't currently tracking your time as a web designer, it's definitely worth starting today. To get to the time tracking tool, just go to tools and then time tracking. Alrighty, tool number three for managing the behind the scenes of your web design business, and that is HoneyBook's tasks and reminders feature. Okay, so full disclosure, I'm an Asana lover through and through when it comes to setting tasks and organizing my business. But one thing I love about HoneyBook is that you can automate reminders to be created when a certain milestone or step in the workflow is completed. So you can add regular old tasks here under tasks where you set a due date, add them to a specific project and sort and filter them based on date and whether you want a daily view, weekly view, or to see all the tasks. 
But to set an automated task, you're actually going to pop into workflows by going to tools and then workflows. So say I have a little post launch workflow that I like to go through with each of my clients. On launch day, I want HoneyBook to remind me to send them a personal voice DM congratulating them on their launch and thanking them for working with me. Or maybe one month after launch day, I like to send a little handwritten note to thank them again and let them know about my referral incentive program. To set an automated reminder, I just open up my workflow, click the plus sign to add a new step, select create task and write the name of my reminder, select when HoneyBook should remind me based on each individual client's project dates. This is perfect for any steps that can't be 100% automated inside of HoneyBook, or even for things that need to happen outside of HoneyBook, but whose due date you want tied directly to other important dates or milestones in that project. Now that your reminder has been added to your workflow, you won't need to set this reminder for every new project. Going forward, HoneyBook will automatically create you that task for any client that gets added to that workflow. Okay, on to tool number four. So the next tool is the bookkeeping feature, which can be found from the homepage or by clicking tools and going to payments, expenses, or profit and loss. All will lead to the same screen and then you click which tab you want to view. You'll be able to keep track of any overdue payments or recently made payments, and you can even input expenses, adding a date, description, category, and even attach the expense to a specific project. Then you can head under the profit and losses tab and filter by time period to see if you're still in the green and actually making a profit in your business. Or whether your web design business is turning into a very expensive hobby and you need to look at cutting expenses or coming up with a plan to generate more revenue. And if you're a QuickBooks user, you can sync your HoneyBook payments and expenses tracker to QuickBooks with just one click. Okay, so this last tool is for my fellow success metrics nerds out there, or really anyone who wants a better understanding of what's going on in their business. So what are success metrics? It's any bit of data you can collect about your business that tells you how things are going. And then measuring that data consistently so you can compare each month's results to the next and make tweaks as necessary. It's the fastest way to spot issues or trends in your business, because if one month things are sailing along just fine, then the next month your numbers plummet, clearly something is broken and in need of fixing. So when you visit the reports window, you can see how many proposals or invoices you sent versus how many people are actually booked, AKA your conversion rate, where the most leads are coming from and therefore where to double down on with your marketing efforts and which strategies to stop bothering with because they aren't doing squat. You can also look at the number of days between inquiry and actual booking, which can be useful for improving your inquiry process and tweaking how and when you follow up. So if you aren't already tracking and measuring any success metrics in your business, I also share a list of success metrics I recommend that every business owner tracks in this video. So that's it for today's look at how HoneyBook can help you manage the back end of your design business. Now, don't forget to grab a copy of my free client process template so you can create a rock solid repeatable process for use with every new client that you take on in the future. You'll find that link waiting for you up here and in the description below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And as always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to let me know by hitting the like button. And remember, for the best tips on building a web design business that you love, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell button so you're notified when new content drops on the channel every single week. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos too.